Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to activate remote desktop licenses in Windows Server 2025. If you'd like to see the initial installation and configuration guide for remote desktop services, we have a video for that and you can watch it right here. Before we get started with today's video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, SQL Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so we're gonna start out with the server manager. If you don't have it pulled up already, it's available from the start menu, or you can simply search it. From here, we're gonna click manage in the top right section, and we're gonna click add roles and features. We'll click next on the initial setup page, and we'll leave this as a role-based or a feature-based installation. We'll select our server of choice from the server pool. We'll click next again. Underneath remote desktop services, we need to make sure that we have the remote desktop licensing role installed. I already have it installed, so I don't need to do anything on this page. If you don't, simply check this box. We'll click next over to features, and then just click all the way through the rest of the wizard here and click install. And then, and then you'll just need to restart the server. So we'll see you guys once that's done. Okay, once we have that installed, we're gonna click up to tools in the top right. And we're gonna click under remote desktop services, don't click yet. And we're gonna select the licensing manager. We'll select our server from the server pool. We can see the activation status is not activated. So right click on this and we'll click activate server. Now this pulls up its own activation wizard. So we would simply right click through this and automatic connection is likely fine. And then we would fill out our company information and this does require all fields to be complete. Next up, we have some additional company information that we would need to provide. And then once you do that, this page comes up to confirm and we'll hit next. We'll hit next again. We'll select our licensing program from the dropdown. In our case, it'll be a retail purchase. Okay, and then from here, we would add our license code. I'm not actually going to do it in this video but we would simply add the code and we would hit next. From there, you'll just finish with these steps in the setup wizard. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.